New video from a painful day in Jacksonville history. It shows the moments a group of black teenagers protesting for integration in the 1960s were violently attacked. This archive video was released by the Jacksonville Historical Society to mark the 61st commemoration of the Axe Handle Saturday attack. News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris has a story. There's no sound to this black and white video, but it speaks through the violence captured by the lens. This is Laura Street in August of 1960, and African-American teenagers are sitting in lunch counters in downtown Jacksonville, a peaceful protest against segregation. The Jacksonville Historical Society posted the video one day before the 61st commemoration. This rare footage was found through a collaboration. Mitch Hyman with the Jacksonville Historical Society explains. Here, local Locally, there was a sort of a media blackout, so there was very little coverage of it, um, which meant very little footage, very little documentation of it. Uh, but even 61 years later, um, if you, if you dig properly and you do the right research, you can still find this type of information. In the video, you see a mob of white men. Then the video jumps to a group of men running. 18 seconds into the video, African Americans are being beat with axe handles, punched in the face and thrown to the ground. Disturbing, but reality for anyone attempting to integrate Jacksonville in the 1960s. Among those attacked was civil rights activist Rodney Hurst of the NAACP Youth Council, one among the dozens of teens peacefully protesting that day in downtown Jacksonville. There are some things about downtown that has changed since that day in 1960, but there are some things that are still the same. For instance, you still have this massive square where the park is located, but also behind us where the federal building is located, that used to be a Woolsworth in that area, one of the many places where there were sit-ins by the youth NAACP and their supporters. By the end of the video, you see someone with a bird's eye view filming. Then it abruptly ends. The footage was found through a partnership with FSCJ. It's developing a class on local Jacksonville history, but there is also a link to a local journalist from Jacksonville's past. As the footage came to me uh, through Harry Reagan, who was a newsman himself here uh, many years ago and a former board member of the Historical Society. He worked some connections from, from his CBS days himself and uh, got in touch with Scott Croft uh, with 60 Minutes originally and uh, they were able to find some footage in the CBS archives in Manhattan. Local media and newspapers did not cover the attack when it happened, but this video is among few that proves it happened and the violence was real. Despite the violence, integration and the fight for equality prevailed. Now for more on Axe Handle Saturday and those who survived the brutal attack, visit the story on our website, newsforjax.com.